Hi there, I'm Vince Graves, technical advisor here at Sega Manufacturing, and today we're going to discuss the vertical drop system in your SM22 machine. The vertical drop system is the drink delivery system at the bottom of your machine. The great thing about the vertical drop system is it allows us to dispense a variety of different products in a small amount of space with a large amount of quantity. For the purposes of this video, we've removed a delivery system and we've got it setting on a table so we can discuss the components. The first component you'll want to look at in your delivery system is the auger. The auger spins counterclockwise to distribute the drinks into the delivery system. Behind that is the adjustable backspacer. This needs to be approximately a finger's width from the back of the product that you're vending. When your product is loaded properly, it will be at the front of the lane pushing the sold out switch down so that the machine knows there's product in this lane. You can see that the flap runs the sold out switch here. Below that is your blue motor that turns the auger. Attached to the auger is your cam and these cams are different depending on whether it's a bottle lane or a can lane. A bottle cam has one lobe, a can cam has two. Below that is a home switch adjustment. Depending on the size of the product that you're vending, you can change this home switch plate and move it left and right to adapt to a larger size bottle or a smaller size. Also in this lane, you have an adjustable shim. It's attached to the sidewall with these three metal tabs. Underneath there's a thumb screw adjustment for longer or shorter size bottles to make sure that they vend out properly. The purpose of the shim is to keep the second bottle on the auger where it needs to be, vending the first one and then dropping the second one on its second rotation. Again, this snaps in with the three metal tabs very easily. Inside your owner's manual, there's a full list of all of the products that we have tested here and a recommendation for where to set your home switch and how to load them in the machine. For these water bottles, they recommend caps forward. Reload the first one, we make sure it's all the way to the front of the lane, keeping the sold out flap flush against the wall. We load them bottom to bottom, so the second one needs to be cap facing backwards. The rear spacer needs to be approximately a finger's width from the back cap and it's adjustable by pulling up and sliding. Then as you continue to load this machine, you load each bottle the way that you loaded the first row. Make sure your auger is in its home position with the opening at 3 o'clock. You continue loading your bottles and selections all the way to the top. Once you've got them loaded, you're going to want to do some test vents to make sure that they, they vent properly. To do that, you press the service mode button on your VMC, press the number 8, and then make the selection you want and test vent your product.